Hey, present good day. Good morning to you. Uh, you know the same thing that should hinder you can catapult you or cause you to gain more respect. Listen, Shamar Joseph with an injured toe. He's not supposed to get anybody out, but he bowled seven people out for 68. You want to know why I'm emphasizing this? If he had done the same with two good big toe, it would not have appeared so large and so big in the headlines. So when something seems to be bothering you, something that should keep you down, by the help of God, work against it, and your success will make bigger headlines. So here it is. 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verse 41 says, And the Philistines came on and drew near unto David. And uh, the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine, that is Goliath of God, when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. David appears small and insignificant in the eyes of Goliath to the extent that he threw back his helmet and in a boastful way saying, hey, I will give your flesh to the dogs, to the fall of the air. I will do that. Uh, but here it is. David being small in size and David had no public reputation of doing anything outstanding. But that did not matter. David also did not have the conventional tool or weapon for popularity or fame on his side or a track record of success on his side. But yet the same David succeeded because David depended upon the Lord. Further, David's small size and insignificance caused him slaying Goliath to take the headlines bigger to the extent, to the extent that you hear the ladies singing, Saul had slain his thousand and David his ten thousand. Somebody's going to sing that Shamar has bowled his 10,000 one day. So I end this way. The same thing that can look as if it will hinder you and stop you from being successful is what can cause you to be big in the headlines. Just ask God for the strength and wisdom to be able to conquer that. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help us not to stay dumb because of some opinion that somebody has of us or because of something that we lack. Help us, O oh God, in a spiritual sense, like David did, to depend upon you for success on a daily basis in normal matters and also in spiritual matters. Thank you ever so much. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.